Blocks for the Mac has integrated support for a range of premium and open source third-party content management systems. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly convert a Blocks project into a theme that can be used with October CMS. First, we need to set the project's target CMS in the project settings. Click the main window title to quickly access the project settings pane. Now, click the icon with three dots located at the end of the project settings menu and use the first drop-down menu to set the project target CMS to October CMS. Now that we have our project CMS set, we can begin to create the areas that will be editable via the CMS dashboard once our site is live. To add our first editable CMS area to our website, press D on your keyboard to enter Drop Mode, and then press 0 to open the Brick Library. Using your keyboard, type October into the search field to quickly find the October CMS container brick. Once the brick is selected, press the Escape key on your keyboard to exit the Brick Library and return to the Blocks canvas. Now, move the mouse cursor to the area of the page you would like to place the October CMS brick and left-click to set it in place. Once the brick is set, press D on your keyboard to exit drop mode. Think of October CMS bricks as containers. Whatever is placed inside of them will be editable via the CMS dashboard once the site is live. Now that we have our October CMS brick in place, we can proceed to drag elements such as text and images into this container. When an element is nested in a CMS container, the object active marker will display as purple instead of blue. When clicked, the small lightning bolt icon located to the left side of the edit marker will activate and select the parent CMS container. Now that we have the parent CMS container selected, we need to give it a unique block ID so we can identify this area via the CMS dashboard. Using the block ID input field located in the sidebar, enter a unique text ID for this CMS area. An alternative way to add editable CMS areas to a page is with the Blocks contextual menu. Right-click any object and select Wrap in October CMS Content Block from the contextual CMS menu. This will wrap the selected object into a CMS container. It's important that we also give this second CMS container a unique ID. Our project is now ready to export. There are two options available for exporting our project for an October CMS theme. The first is the dedicated export option found in the main menu under File, Export, Export as an October CMS theme. The second is the standard export option also found in the main menu under File, Export, Export Project. Because we set the project's target CMS in the project settings at the beginning of this video, the standard export option now recognizes that we are building a theme for October CMS and automatically alternates the standard export feature to create an October CMS theme. Our project is now exported. Taking a look at the output, we can see Blocks has created the correct file structure and even generated the theme preview image. Now that we have our CMS theme, it's time to upload it to the server that has October CMS installed on it. You can upload a theme with any FTP app of your choice. Once our theme is uploaded, you'll find it under the front end theme settings. To activate our theme, simply press the Activate button. Now, if we refresh our browser that is pointing to the front end of our site, we will see our new theme appear. Now that our theme is active, navigate to the CMS options for content, and you will see the two CMS editable areas that we created in our Blocks project. The content in these areas can now be easily updated and saved via the October CMS dashboard. There you have it. 
it's now possible to create powerful CMS-driven websites with blocks.